authentic bands. It was a good message about the struggle and the music, stuff we've always heard about, you know, from word of mouth. So it's good to hear the dying punk voice of the youth <laughs> in 2010 representing art and culture. Well, I was really interested to see um, that side of Iran because that obviously isn't something that's going to be reported very much unless it's in these sort of forums that like make it through. I think so it was really clear in the film that all of the song lyrics in, in their music was about the um, repression of creative expression in Iran. Just having um, those lyrics within the medium of, a, of creative expression of like lyrical songs. Yeah, it's a really has a really big impact. <laughs> I think it can really awaken in people that there's a lot going on in Iran that you don't see in the news. The way it's portrayed to us is that it's all, you know, Islamic fundamentalism, all the rest of it. Um, but clearly, you know, there's, there's youth culture in Iran just as there is everywhere else. They may have more difficulties expressing it, but, you know, there's still that same desire to, to create and be expressive. So I think, it's, I think it's a wonderful thing when that counter to the stereotype of Iranian society is, is shown. Yeah. I think the film is, uh, was actually completely brilliant and beautiful and incredibly sad. I mean, music is religion, you know, and it's what saves people. And uh, unfortunately, in parts of the world, you know, simple things like music are still condemned. I think that this movie is a vessel to teach everyone about how good we have it in the Western world, and uh, but also how we have to help and change things in uh, in the rest of the world. I thought the film was was great, and I think that. It shows the, the real importance of music to Iranian culture and all kinds of music and the expressiveness of music and that people will give up their lives to, to play their music and express themselves.